Do you ever wish that your email autoresponder worked better with your e-commerce platform? Do you wish that for the amount of money you're paying for your autoresponder, that you could have better insights into your customers in terms of what they purchased, how good of a customer they are, and even how good your emails are at actually making money, which is the whole goal of the online marketing space? Well, in this video, you're going to learn about a brand new update with MailerLite, which has accomplished a ton towards accomplishing these goals. Hey guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. Welcome to the channel. My goal in line is to help you find the perfect tool for your next project. And in this video, I'm going to walk through an amazing new e-commerce update for MailerLite, which is honestly perfectly timed because with the release of cart flows and a lot of other e-commerce opportunities for digital marketers, the big problem has always been getting your e-commerce platform to perfectly sync in with your email autoresponder to give you better, rich data about your customers. And I'm very excited to say that I think we're about there when it comes to e-commerce with MailerLite and WooCommerce specifically. And let's go ahead and waste no more time and show you these six awesome features that I think you're going to enjoy if you are a MailerLite customer, or if you're not quite happy with your existing autoresponder, it may be time to check out MailerLite for yourself. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. The first feature here is that now on your dashboard within your MailerLite account, you'll be able to see a new area called the e-commerce performance. And right now I haven't really dove into this. This is really a first look, but what you'll be able to see is that based on how your email marketing is converting people into customers, you'll be able to see actually the generated revenue, number of orders, um, coming from your emails to your customers. That's huge, right? That's the whole goal of why you would pay for a list is to be able to get those um, you know, subscribers to become customers from your products. So here you'll be able to see from your campaigns, which are the individual emails that you send out to your list, as well as from your automations, if you uh, link in your WooCommerce or Easy Digital Downloads data into this platform, you'll be able to see how much money is coming out from those different sources of of marketing, which is huge. You'll also be able to kind of show a graph over time, which I'm a data geek. I'm excited about any graphs I can get my hands on. So I'm excited to see how those show up over time as I start to implement this in my own business. So that's number one is your dashboard performance there. Okay. And number two is a huge one because I have personally been very frustrated when people purchase from WooCommerce and you can't give them a specific tag to just to declare what it was that they purchased. And so your follow up sequences, your support sequences, they're very generic because you just have this random customer tag on your people. Well, no more. So now when you go to your uh, your automations here and you can see I have kind of a dummy automation set up, which is just a workflow trigger. They're going to copy them to a customer group based on the product they purchase and we'll give them an email. It could be a support sequence or anything like that. But what's great here is that in the old days before this new update, your email automation triggers, which would launch the automation was very limited. You know, when they joined a group, anniversary of a date, subscriber clicks a link, et cetera, et cetera. So not a whole lot going on here. What they've done now is giving you the second tab off to the right called e-commerce automation. And this is huge, guys. So what happens here is if they purchase any of your products, so this is maybe the first time they become a customer for you, you would launch, uh, you could be able to launch a sequence like this. What I love though is the specific product. So here you can actually go in and search your own WooCommerce shop. You're not going and looking for URLs and pasting it in or anything like that or getting product IDs. I, I have a course called Gutenberg Hero. So I'm just gonna type in Gutenberg. And this is searching my WooCommerce store through the API integration they've set up. And you can see here, I have two products that I have a, a homepage template that you can import using Gutenberg, as well as a full, full blown course to get you building beautiful pages with Gutenberg very quickly. So you can just click on this guy, hit insert. And now whenever somebody purchases the Gutenberg Hero course, this automation is going to fire and you can, you know, for certain things like re reusable products where they're going to purchase over and over, you can activate it every single time. But for me, I only want to activate this workflow once. We'll call this purchased, purchase Gutenberg Hero will be the name of this workflow. So when they purchase that product, I'll save this. I want to tag them specifically that they are a customer of Gutenberg Hero. Now, I would like to be able to do this directly from the WordPress uh, product page when I'm creating a product. I want to say, hey, link this to this tag. You can achieve that using a separate plugin. It's a rather expensive plugin called WP Fusion. That's the topic for another video. But now, without having any additional plugins on your website, you can go into MailerLite, link up that product purchase to um, adding a tag. And what's even better about doing it this way is that it doesn't have to stop there. 
So you can actually go on here and say, all right, immediately send a thank you for your purchase email. But then you can go into the full blown support sequence. So you could start to say, you know, wait for three days. And then you could send another email. It'd be like, you know, how are you liking it? Et cetera, et cetera. And this can go all the way through and potentially even lead them into purchasing the next product at the right time. So that is a huge thing there for email auto email automation and better segmenting of your audience. All right, and the third thing that I love about this update with MailerLite is how they've integrated the WooCommerce integration into your email campaigns. So if you're sending your weekly broadcast or you have a special promotion going on, you're gonna come here into their new drag and drop builder, which is really, really well done. And let's just get out of this real quick. So you can see, let me hide myself real quick. So in this new builder, they have the ability to uh, you know, add blocks in where instead of typing everything in one by one, you can pull a full navigation button in. Uh, you can go here and you know show a video that you wanna highlight, et cetera, et cetera. All really cool stuff. But what's happened new is you can come down here to e-commerce and you can see here they have e-commerce and e-commerce integration. Let me show you the difference here. This is really, really cool. So the e-commerce is one where it looks like a WooCommerce shop. You can drag this in and you can update everything, but you're doing this manually. Like you're creating your own product image. You're putting the URL in for the product, et cetera, et cetera. You're showing the prices and all that. So it's not actually linked up. It's, it's not a smart block. I'll just coin that term. If we come here to email e-commerce integration, however, you can see here, this is different. So it doesn't show the actual product. It just shows like where the product would go. So let's go ahead and put the two products down here. All right, now let's click on this and see what's going on. So now this is linking into my website and my WooCommerce store. So I can go to, to add products from my store. And again, I'll look for the Gutenberg Hero course. And I'll check this guy and I'll insert it. Oh, I actually had a, a different one in there, but you can see what's happened here is I pulled in the product image, I pulled in the product title, I pulled in the price, and I've pulled I, the ability here to say show now, it's gonna go directly to where it should, where the um, where the product is housed. And then here I can also go back to, let me hit save, and then I can come to the second product, and let's show hero, there you are. Where are you? There you are. Gutenberg Hero. Insert that. And boom. So this is pulled data in from my own website. I've never uploaded this image into MailerLite. This is just going directly off the integration between WooCommerce and MailerLite, which is really, really awesome. I'm, I'm tickled that they're doing this. Now, obviously, if you are more of a funnel-based seller where you want to build that relationship up and, and not just look like a storefront, this may not be the most useful to you. Um, but if you want to be able to give your audience the ability to buy from you, you know, this is a very uh, direct way and very easy way to do it. And it looks very good. I mean, I'm impressed with how this, you can very easily put together a good looking newsletter now with MailerLite, which leads me into the fourth amazing thing that I like about this new update is smart segmentation within your campaigns. So now you've got this product block, but what if your people are already customers? What if they've already purchased what you have to offer? Well, it's very easy to make your offer relevant without having to write two, three, four different versions of the same email to segment them to the appropriate party. Let me show you how that works. So here you've got the ability to drag this guy around. You've got the ability to uh, you know, edit the content, but this eyeball here, let's click this eyeball. Now you can choose a target audience on who that receives this email is going to see that specific block of content. So by default, all recipients that see the email are, is going to see this block, but what we could do is actually go to specify recipients. So under the specify recipients, let's say that you want to very target who sees this block here. So you only wanna show this to people who are interested in the Gutenberg Hero course, for example. So I have a block here somewhere. Uh, so interested in Gutenberg. So I only wanna show this to people that are tagged with that amount and you can also go through and tag other things but leave off the gutenberg hero customer which we just created together to make sure that people who've already purchased don't see this block because that would be annoying and frustrating and not useful for them so the ability to now go block by block and you can see now it's, this is fantastic it even shows you here that this block is visible to a specific audience only and i imagine if i were to click on this it's going to show that uh, dialog box there really intuitive really well done Okay, now on the fifth benefit of this new update is within the campaign itself, when you go and look at the campaign that you've just sent out. So this is one I sent out recently, um, very you know normal, I just ha had some content, some value to share with my audience. 
And so you can, you've always been able to get these statistics, you know, total email sent, open, clicked, you know, don't look at my stats. They're not the, the best right now. We're still working through it. Um, but there's this new tab here called e-commerce. And if you click on this e-commerce stat, now going back from the previous one, if I had included a product or even just a link to a product on my website, they're going to use their site tracking to be able to track how users are flowing through your website once they've clicked on one of those links. So you'll be able to see how effective your emails are and actually converting people to customers. So you'll be able to see from this email how many orders were placed, how many how much revenue was generated, and what was a conversion rate based on how many people you sent the email to, the revenue, all that good stuff. It'll even be able to show you the orders, the individual order details of every order that was generated from that specific email. I mean, that's... There's a lot that you can do with this. Uh, you want to make sure you don't get bogged down in the details too much and just continue to add value. But being able to have the data to support what's going on, wow, this is going to be huge. The sixth benefit of this um, of this new update is the ability to show your segments with your WooCommerce or Easy Digital downloads and have very easy and very smartly set up auto segmentation. So auto segmentation is just you know high spending repeat customers. So they'll be able to know, and we can click on each one of these to be able to see what the statistics are. So if they belong to a customer and if they've spent more than $500 and they've ordered more than five times, they're going to fall automatically into the segment. So when you're sending out your broadcasts, you, without having to go through and do all the math to figure out how to exactly to make sure you're sending it to the right people, you can just call out, you know, send it to all my high spending repeat customers and only send this to them. And that way you can not go through all the tech of setting these up yourself, but still be able to have the benefit of creating these segmenta segmented emails. Very, very cool. And the last benefit here is on the individual subscriber basis, you can also see the details of their performance. So here I've pulled up one of my little test guys that I use for my stuff. And you know, by default, you can see how many emails they've been sent, how many they've opened and clicked. You can see the groups they belong to, their details, their activity, a ton of rich detail here on the individual page. It's also a very clean design I like a lot. But now there's this new tab here for e-commerce stats. So you'll also be able to see which orders this person has placed, how many orders he's placed, and how much money he has given you. Really useful stuff, right? And be able to, you know, you could call up any subscriber. If you get an email from a subscriber, for example, you can quickly pop into MailerLite and do a quick search. And without having to go and cross-reference what emails they've opened in MailerLite, which orders they've, you know, taken in WooCommerce on your website, you have this one dashboard to really get a good feel for this person. And you can even go through and add a note about the subscribers you're going through and really make this a full-blown CRM to enhance your marketing efforts. All right, so let's wrap this one up. This is a huge update for MailerLite. If you're a MailerLite customer and you don't use WooCommerce, I would encourage you, ask yourself why. If you're using Sendal because of their special integration with Thrive Apprentice, that's cool. You know, Keep doing that if that works for you. If you want to be able to sell services, client work, subscriptions, all sorts of crazy things, as well as courses and other items, consider looking at WooCommerce. I mean, it's free, it's built in, it's made by the same people by Automatic who made WordPress. And this new integration with MailerLite is huge. If you don't use MailerLite, if you use a ConvertKit or a Drip or an active campaign or anything like that, you know, take a look to see if you're getting the value from your CRM that you want to be getting. I'm not suggesting you leave your CRM and come to MailerLite. I just want to make sure, you know, I, I've seen some of the CRMs out there kind of stagnate a little bit, not really keep up with the times and um, kind of rest on their laurels a little bit. MailerLite, oh my goodness, they are looking hungry, right? I mean, they're they're advancing at a very quick clip. So far, my delivery rates are good. You know, there are some spam people that are signing up on my website, so those are obviously getting some hard or soft bounces, but the majority of my emails are getting to where they need to go. What more do you want? You add in this rich detail about your orders if you use WooCommerce, and the automations now where you can link up product purchases to tags and sending them through all these different you know funnels and even having the ability to make visible or not make visible the campaigns you've got yourself a pretty powerful tool set now you talk about cart flows which is turning woocommerce into an effective selling machine and you're kind of you've got this nice concoction here of tools that are working together to help you sell more use fewer tools to do it, use less cost to do it, but be able to you know, have as much rich data about your customers as you'd like. So take a look at it. If you'd like to give me a little thumbs up for this uh, video, there's three ways you can do it. One, subscribe to the channel, get more videos just like this. Two, leave a like and a comment. And three, if you'd like to check out MailerLite for yourself, you know, give me a, throw me a bone here and use my affiliate link. It's incomemesh.com slash MailerLite, and I'll put that in the description below. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.